Guys, these two little pieces of equipment in front of me can really save you some headache in the event that somebody tries to break into your vehicle or they gain access into either the cab of your vehicle or the bed. So hang tight, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. All right, so you were looking at two really, really cool pieces of equipment that I purchased because I've been watching news stories about a bunch of teenagers and kids going around breaking into vehicles. They either check the beds of trucks, sometimes they even try to steal the tailgates of trucks if you don't have a locking tailgate, and they check the doors to try to gain entry into vehicles. Now, I'm not going to say that any type of theft deterrent is really going to always work, or you're going to be able to get past somebody possibly damaging your vehicle, but any type of a deterrent is better than no deterrent at all. That's what I generally feel about things. Something that can alert me to what's going on is even better. Now, I have a few solutions. One of them is my OWL dash cam. And it actually works really well. So the OWL dash cam has a shock sensor built into it. And if it determines that somebody has bumped your vehicle, if they've, you know, hit it, it's going to start recording. It's going to shine some really bright LED lights into the vehicle. And it's going to send you a notification to your phone. And you can actually look live into your vehicle and out the front at what's going on. The problem with this system isn't that it doesn't work. It's that sometimes it's delayed. So something could bump my vehicle and then 20, 30, 40 seconds or even sometimes a couple minutes later I get the notification that something bumped my vehicle so by the time I get out there whatever happened is long and over and I don't necessarily have any way to prevent it or to even see what's happened. I have a solution that I'm going to show you that's about 80% more effective at notifying you during the times that some of these crimes actually take place. So what you're looking at in front of you are two products that I purchased off of Amazon. This one I purchased for about $24 and change and this one I purchased for about $80. I believe it was $79. Both of them offer I think the most comprehensive amount of protection, deterrent, as well as notification to something taking place inside of your vehicle when you don't want it to be happening. So let's first talk about this one. Again, less than $25. It even included the AA batteries that you need for it in that price. It has a wireless remote. What is this? This is a motion detecting, incredibly loud alarm. So if this detects any type of motion, it's gonna go off. Now, some people might say, well, what application in a vehicle could you use this for? I think it's pretty obvious. If I take this and I set this right up here on the dash like that, I can go to this remote, and guys, this is gonna hurt my ears really bad. I can hit this little lock button, and now it's armed. Now, if I open the door or make any type of movement, it's going to go off and it's going to be ear piercing. And it is really, really loud. And I can turn it off from the remote as well. So that's one really nice feature. The second one is this. So this right here is a solar powered motion detector. This has a half mile range. Now any type of obstructions or things that are in between it are gonna shorten that. But for the sake of what I'm gonna use it for, I only need maybe 60 feet. So this has worked out really well for me. What do I do with this? I simply set this next to that. What's that gonna do? Well, once I turn this on, I can select which channel. I can have up to four of those connected to this. And if I have any type of movement, it's going to set it off. Now, it has some pretty cheesy tones, but they are very loud. And if I have this setting on my nightstand next to me, when this goes off, I'm definitely going to know. But if I make any movement, you can see that any type of movement is going to set it off. If I just rock slightly... So, this will notify me in a silent way of movement and activity in my vehicle. This will notify the person in the vehicle. Both of these are gonna be really helpful for you. This one's gonna let you respond. This one's gonna probably scare them off. And again, 
it just takes a little bit of motion opening the door to set this one off. And that's really nice because if you can deter the person from ever getting into your vehicle, then you've accomplished a lot there. If you put this inside of your tailgate, maybe in the back of your truck, and it's pointed towards the tailgate, let's say you're fishing, let's say you have your truck parked at Lowe's, or you have it parked at a store, or you're leaving it in an airport parking lot, having this in the back of your truck can also be a huge deterrent from people possibly gaining entry into your toolbox, into the bed of your truck, and accessing what you have back there. So both of these, I think, will come in really handy. And and if you buy another sensor, you'd actually have the ability to keep one inside of the truck and one inside of the bed. This one takes a little bit more motion to set off, but it doesn't take much. If I lean back just a little bit, it's going to set it off. And what's also really nice about this system is even if I set this here in the center console, if somebody broke in, it would set it off. Or even if they tried to move this, it's going to set it off. If they see it and they're like, I don't know what that is, they mess around with it. The whole time they're messing around with this, it's going to be setting the speaker off inside. This right here is going to be driving them nuts until they figure out what they do with it. And they're not going to want to throw it outside because if they throw it outside, it's going to be making more noise outside. So this can be placed just about anywhere. You, shoot, you could even place it on the floorboard down there. You could place it inside of the pocket in there. You could put it in the back of the truck facing out the front. And it really doesn't go off through the tent. So it takes somebody to actually get in front of it or inside of the vehicle for it to go off. And once this thing goes off, it is annoyingly loud. It is one of the loudest little piezo speakers I have seen. And it's definitely one that's going to startle and probably scare off a potential thief. Anyways, guys, I'll put links in the description of this video if these are things that you're interested in. For right at about 100 bucks for both of them, it's going to give you a lot of really rudimentary, basic, you know, kind of archaic security, but it's going to do it in a very reliable way, and it's going to do it in a way that'll probably deter 99.9% .9 of opportunistic thieves that might try to, you know, get into your vehicle, get into the bed of your truck, gain access into your RV, into a toolbox, into a shed, whatever you might need. Again, both of these were purchased from Amazon. I didn't get these for free. I didn't get these to evaluate. It's just a way to protect some of the things you work hard for in a way that most thieves probably haven't thought about. Anyways, guys, again, I will put a link in the description of this video if you're interested in these products. Super low cost, super easy to use, very effective way to just add that next level of security and deterrent to someone who might want to steal something that's yours. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.